When it comes to training, it's important that we utilize exercises that both prioritize longevity and sustainability. Ideally, we do this in a fashion that is going to promote pain-free movement as well as limit injury in the future. So in today's video, I wanna go over a natural body weight workout that is gonna provide this framework as well as give our body a baseline to operate from. If you're new around here, my name is Mark, and this is a channel that is dedicated to both health and lifestyle optimization. That's where we take the latest tips, techniques, and trends in regards to health, and we apply them in a fashion where we are trying to promote both longevity and sustainability. If that's something that you are interested in, then consider subscribing to the channel for more future content similar to this. When it comes to the natural body weight workout that I'm gonna take you through, you can do this outdoors, similar to how I'm going to showcase to you today, or you can do it in the comfort of your home. But what I'm going to suggest you do is go through it minimum two to three times, and this is something that you can go through a few times a week. When it comes to repetition, you can work towards eight to 12 reps for the exercises in this video. So without further ado, let's get into the body weight workout. All right, so for this first exercise, we're gonna work through some arm swings. So one of the primary things that we want to focus on here is maintaining a upper body rhythm as we're rotating the thoracic spine from side to side. It's important that we utilize ground tension here as well. So what that essentially means is just putting a little bit of pressure into the floor just to kind of stabilize our pelvis, which is ultimately going to help to stabilize our upper body as well. If we are executing this well, you should feel your obliques kind of exchange tension from side to side, as well as either glute exchange tension from side to side, as that is gonna be how the lower body and upper body are gonna to communicate to one another throughout this exercise. For this next exercise, we're gonna work on some side lunges. The intent here is to take the baseline of the rhythm that we were working on with the arm swings and try to apply it in a lateral motion. We are going to be rotating our upper body from side to side throughout this exercise as well. As you can see, when I take a step with my left foot, I'm going to rotate my rib cage to my left. And then when I step out with my right foot, I'm going to rotate my rib cage to my right. You can utilize the ground tension principle that we were working on in the previous exercise to imagine as if you're pushing the ground away from you as you work this motion side to side. Next up, we have alternating lunges. This is a similar exercise to what we were working on previously, but instead of going side to side, we're going to try to work a rhythm going back and forth. The intention here is to not spend too much time going down into the lunge, almost working more like a spring, kind of coming down and then popping ourselves back up. What we'll emphasize is coming back to a standing position and just alternating either leg as we go throughout the exercise. For this next exercise, we're going to be getting down onto the ground and we're going to be working a push-up into a row. Some things to be mindful of here is when you're going through the push-up, you're going to want to try to keep a nice neutral spine as you go through. So as you can see, my spine isn't sagging or it's not overly rounded. Ideally, we're trying to keep that as neutral as possible. This will ensure that our core is staying properly activated, especially as we go through the rotational mechanism where the obliques should then come online. Keep in mind that this is a push to a pull exercise. So you can imagine as you're pushing away from the floor, you're pushing away to get yourself into the end phase of that rowing motion. So for this next exercise, we're gonna be moving into single leg hops. So this exercise works in two parts. For the first part, you can see I'm doing a switch of my feet just on the spot. 
And what that is doing is creating the momentum for me to go into the single leg hop where I am then coming to stability on a log. Now, if you're doing this outside, you can do something similar to what I'm doing here. But if you're at home, try to find a steady surface that you feel comfortable jumping up onto in terms of height. Ideally, as we're going through this, it should be one continuous motion. So when I take the jump up top, that's gonna send me right back down where I can then go into the switch and then the whole cycle repeats itself. And to wrap things up, we are going to finish with a switch lunge. Now this is a great finisher because it is sure to get the cardiovascular system going as well as just get that last little bit of fatigue in the legs. It's important that as we're going through this, we're going through full ranges of motion. As you can see, I'm almost dropping entirely to the ground. And then I am trying to be relatively explosive as I pop up and then kind of cushion my way back down. Try not to be too abrasive on your landing here. Again, it should be a nice flow of emotion where you're taking the energy on the downswing and you're allowing that to carry you through the upswing of the lunge. Anyways, that's all for this week's edition on how to live a longer and more sustainable life. If you did enjoy this week's video, then don't be afraid to like it, as well as share it with someone who you think might find value in it. That is how we bring more like-minded people like yourself to the channel. And it also just lets the YouTube algorithm know that this is something that is worthwhile. You can also subscribe for all future content. I post a video about once per week. And until next time, make sure that you are prioritizing and then you are optimizing. Take care until next time. Peace.